been born again. And they don't have that miracle. All they are having, they come. I praise God. I came last Friday. I didn't have uh, any five cobble on me. And when I was going out, God gave me five naira. And so what? My friend, go and sit down. Five naira. God gave you five naira. I got a miracle. Five naira is a miracle. Welcome to the moment of truth. You just heard your papa, Kumuyi, castigating someone that came to give a small miracles. So he didn't recognize it. He said they should go and sit down. Five naira is not a miracle. And that is why people have to lie, to come to the altar to lie, to fix miracles. That's how they encourage it, that people should come and tell lies, that God has done a big thing for them. Stay tuned. I, when I came last Friday, before I came, I was going to the toilet, and uh, then I came. They mentioned my problem, and after that Friday meeting, I didn't go to the toilet again. Praise God, I have a miracle. Go and sit down. <laughs> he didn't go to the toilet again. Still smoking and drinking. It's got miracle. His life is not changed. Got miracle. Still beating his wife, got miracle. Still stealing in his place of work, is got miracle. Tell them to sit down, let's preach salvation to them. That ye must be born again. That's I thought they said uh, deeper life is holiness church. See what he listed. And I'm glad that that is coming from his mouth. The oppression that is going on in deeper life is beyond measure. The evil that is there. The atrocity that people are committing there, you cannot even imagine. I discovered in 1994 that God is not in the bad life. God is not there. There's no power of God there. Nothing is happening. Everything is oppression, oppression, oppression. Domineering. Do as I say. Force. That's what he's been teaching. So if people are under you and they are going through all this, that means you need to check yourself. God is not with you. The miracle. A miracle. But the covetous people, they come and they get more money. That's no miracle. But the people whose lives are being changed, the people who are giving themselves to the Lord, saying, Oh Lord, here am I. I lay all on the altar. I consecrate everything. The people that will say, as members of the church, here I am. I'm a member of this body of Christ. I don't care for persecution. Though he kills me, yet I will trust him. That's a miracle. People that will rise up like Esther. If I perish, I perish. If I lose all my friends, I lose all my friends. If people hate me, that's all right. What I will do for the rest of my life is obeying the Lord in every detail of the word of God. That's a miracle. He's teaching you obey the word of God to the core, which is okay. But he's living in disobedience. He's living in disobedience to the word of God. Everything he does is against God. So God is not there. There's no way God will empower people. That's why people are fall short of everything in your church. But five naira. Headache. If that's all the miracle you've got, I don't think we'll meet in heaven. You just heard that manipulation now. He said he will not meet you in heaven if you don't have miracles, you don't have big miracles. If only God heal headaches is your miracles. God gave me five naira is your miracles. He will not meet you in heaven. Where is that in the Bible? Lazarus, the poorest man on earth in his own time, he made it to heaven. He was seated in the bosom of Abraham. This is your holiness picture, oh. This is your Bible-believing church, oh. No God for yourself, my people. These people are manipulative. They are manipulative. They are enemy of God. No liar will see God. No manipulators will see God. No deceiver will see God. He's not going to any heaven. He's a liar. He's a deceiver. He's a destroyer. He has destroyed many lives. He holds many people in bondage. He didn't allow them to marry. His wife died. He remarried after 60 years. Uh, 60 years of age. What do you, what did you want? 
he jumped and he married. He could not hold body. If it was him that died, I'm very sure that woman will not marry again. She will stay like that till the end of her lives. And he picked up a, 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 an old lady, a, old members in the church. Do you think the love just came suddenly like that? The love has already been there. He has already had his eyes on that woman. Thank you, my people. If you know, you know. My own is to enlighten you. No salvation in any of these men. Only in our Lord Jesus Christ. They are too manipulative. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.